السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و حل الاخدتا من لسانی یفقہ قولی Welcome back to your brothers and sisters Welcome to our class number 33 where we are continuing to learn about fail amr So just quickly do a recap so how to make fail amr So if you see tabaqa yatbuhu utbuhu So we know in alfaal al arba So to make it majzoom we have to bring Hamzatul wasl if the fa'al is beginning with the sukoon. So in these cases, so you have Hamzatul wasl and the sign of Hamzatul wasl depends on the sign on ayin kalima. If it is dhamma, it will always have dhamma. And if it is have fatha or kasra, it will always have kasra. Fataha yaktahu iqta. Fataha yaftahu iftah. And daraba yadribu idrib. Jama'a yajma'u اجمع عبد يعبد اعبد so this is in افوال الاربع and if it is افوال الخمسة the dropping of noon will be in the مجزوم form so how do you describe this فعل امر مبني على سكون so in these افوال الاربع five in your pocket so going forward so we know this مجزوم is in فعل امر and also it is in fail mudari'ah so we know fail mudari'ah it can be marfu, mansub and majzoom so what happened when you have a majzoom fail whether it is amr or mudari'ah and if it is followed by al so what happens because we have a sukoon and especially in afwalul arba so it is a five in your pocket so what happens there for example if you have uqtub and if it is followed by Ad-Darsa followed by definite noun Ad-Darsa Uqtub That's how do you pronounce it So we know Alif of Al The definite article is Hamzatul Wasl So whenever there is a word in front of it That sound is not produced Then we have Laam with Sukun So then we have here Iltiqai Sakinaini The clashing of the Sukuns So in this scenario What we got to do to pronounce it To be able to pronounce it The Sukun on the Ba or the sukoon and the lam kalima of the fa'al is turned into a kasra so how do you say uktubid darsa uktubid darsa we know that fa'al mudari' is mu'rab so any fa'al whether it's mudari' or amr it can be fa'al can be marfu, mansub or majzum but it can never be majroor so we know now that whenever there is e kasra it is for the phonetics but it's not built in the fa'al so let's do some more examples so it be clear so we say uktubid darsa so we have, why do we see kasra here because we cannot pronounce the sound so we know whenever we see a hamzatul wasal so we have to identify that this is a fa'al amr it's not alamat mudari' So and it is ending with the sukoon and to make it pronounced so we have uktubid darsa so we'll see in the quran sometimes in the, some prints so you won't have sukoon at all so it does be kasra so unless we know these things we won't be able to identify so iqra il qur'ana so it will be iqra but to be able to pronounce it we have to give a kasra iqra il qur'ana ishrab il qahwata so drink coffee Il'ab il'ana Il'ab is play So you say play now So Il'ab il'ana So this Ba with Kasra This Alif with Kasra Again this Ba Ba So the Kasra Is not built in the Fa'il This is only for the phonetics reason But it is not part of the Fa'il The original Fa'il Is Uktub Iqra' Ishrab And Il'ab So We know when these Fel Amr, what does it begins with? It begins with Hamzatul Wasl. So, for example, if we say Uktub, so we know Hamzatul Wasl has a special characteristic that whenever a letter comes in front of it, what happens is the sound of that Hamzatul Wasl, where it is Uktub, the sound disappears. So, how do we pronounce it? We just say Waktub. So, but we know when we are pronouncing Waktub, Ending with the sukoon, 
that means it's amr and it's written hamdatul wasl is written but it is not pronounced for example if you say uktub ya hamiduktub see wo hamid right because hamdatul wasl sound is not produced so the to this assimilation of sounds the two sounds between the hamzatul wasl is mixed the join ya hamiduktub is means ejlis udkhul wajlis so this assimilation of two sounds between hamzatul wasl if ham qala li abi if ham but how do you say qala li abif ham for example ya hamiduzhab see ya hamiduzhab ya ikhwanuzhabu so we know when you say ya ikhwanuzhabu ya ikhwanu and is habu is a three words but when you pronounce it sounds like one word ya ikhwanuzhabu so you should be able to identify ya aminatuzhabi so amina go ya akhawatuzhabna all your sisters you go so that's your hamdatul wasl so let's do some more example so i'll say يا ايها الطلاب ادخلوا الفصل سي يا ايها الطلاب so there is assimilation of sound whenever there is hamzatul wasl and there are two words between hamzatul wasl so ya ya ايها is one separate letter separate word and at-tulab is separate udkhulu is separate al-fasla but when we pronounce we should be able to identify ya ايها الطلاب ادخلوا الفصل so wherever there is hamzatul wasl and the letters between those are assimilated the sounds or assimilated they joined ya ayyuhat tullab dukhulul fasla wajlisu waktabur waktabud darsa si kharaja yakhruju ukhruj so you telling muannas ukhruji ukhruji ya bint wal'abi si wal'abi play ma ukhtuki with your sisters kulu washrabu eat and drink to see wow represents antum so we should know all the forms kul kula kulu kuli kula and kulna so ishrabna shariba yashrabu ishrab ishrabnal pahwata ya sayyidati oh my madam taali taali ya aminatu waftahin nawafida taalai is a different form of fa'il so we going to do later but it means come so we'll do it in our next class or following class inshallah how this fa'il is constructed but just to understand it's ending with sukun jazm that means it's kind of a amr there's nothing in front of it taalai come here o aminata waftahin nawafida open the windows غسل يغسل اغسل واش وجوهكم وايديكم واش يور فيسز اند يور هاندز ابدا يعبد اعبد اعبدنا الله واسجدنا له اوكي تو اول اوف يو اول فيمنز ورشيب الله اند دو سجود سجود تو هيم لعب يلعب العب العب means antum in front of us el abu play ba'd ad-dars after the lesson el abu ba'd ad-dars khudi see ya means anti khudi kitabuki so we should have ya suad take take your book or suad so we're just going to practice little bit more so we get more comfortable so just going to fill in the blanks here al quran so we have to look at the who is is this being addressed to and bring a proper fa'il so what do you do with the quran and you are addressing to maryam so you say iqra'i so it is a typo here so it has to be with ya iqra'i iqra'i al quran ya maryam يا اولاد اولاد كلوا الخبز 
kulul khubza wal washrabu washrabu qahwata so min al fasl ya musa yes ukhruj yes go out go out from fasl ya musa ukhruj min al fasl so what do you do with faces and hands here yeah. igsilna igsilna wujuha kunna wa aydiya kunna bisabun ra'saka so what do you do with hairs you cut ihlaq ihlaq ra'saka bil musa so hadhil aqrabu yabi so what do you do with the scorpion you kill so it's uqtul uqtul hadhil aqrabu yabi qala khalid li zamilihi li zamilihi zakariya ma ma'na hadhihi al-kalima what is the meaning of this word qala zakariya zakariya said ana la adri i don't know so is'alil is'alil mudarrisa so you know hamzatul wasl the sound assimilation is'alil mudarrisa asked the teacher so what do you do for the laham with that sharp knife so you say iqta'i see iqta'i ya is fa'il anti iqta'il lahma bi zak as-sikin al-hadda see with that zak means zalika that as-sikin is badal followed by ismul uh, ishara and al-hadda is your naat so hadda means sharp sharp knife with that sharp knife ya khadija so cut the meet with that sharp knife so with this knowledge inshallah we're going to do an example from the quran so see how it is mentioned so allah taala says ya ayyuhan nasu abudu rabbakum allazi khalaqakum wal ladina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun so, alhamdulillah we should be able to analyze the whole ayah here you know ya is your harf nida ayyuha ayyu is your munada ha is how tanbi for drawing attention and nasu is your ya ayyu and nasu is your badal and u'budu so what is u'budu u'budu is your fa'il amr allah is commanding wow is antum all of you so when you read that means allah is telling all of us that ya ayyuhan nas o mankind u'budu so how do we read ya ayyuhan nas u'budu so we don't pronounce the sound of hamzatul wasal ya ayyuhan nas u'budu worship worship whom so say rabba rabba is mafulun bihi wa huwa mudafkum bihi mudaf li rabbakum allazi so what is allazi is your coming as a naat here which is اسم موصولا so we know after اسم موصولا is صلة الموصول so the one who one who what خلق خلق is جملة الفعلية coming as صلة الموصول and كم is your مفعول به he created you the one who created you و is أطف الذين is again it is موصوفنا له كم it is مفعول به and the one so that's الذين again it's اسم موصول so we are looking for صله الموصول again so the one before من قبلكم but من before you لعلكم we know لعل ان ان كان ليت لكن لعل so لعل will have من اخوات ان will have اسم and خبر so كم is the اسم لعلكم hopefully you تتقون will be from the one who fear تتقون so so one more ayah here ya ayyuhal ladina ya ayyuhal ladina amanu amanur ka'u wasjudu wa'budu rabbakum waf'alu al-khayra la'allakum tuflihun we say oh you who believe ya ayyuhal ladina oh you the one the one who is a silatul mausul is your amanu the one who believes amanurka'u see so we got two hamzatul wasl i mean hamzatul wasl and the sukun so we don't pronounce those sounds so we say amanurka'u wasjudu wa'budu rabbakum so you yeah, get three commands here so to bow 
and do sujood and do ibadah to worship worship whom rabbakum your lord wa fa'alu and do so do what then we can ask a question so it become fair mutaaddi al khaira is your maful be do the good la allakum so that hopefully you so we need a khabar la allakum tuflihun that you will be successful so this is how it is used and it is pronounced inshallah so those are the fa'il amr to bring it so going forward so we are coming to uh, learn a new concept today inshallah so what is that we are learning about la we already learned before la as a particle of answer so whenever it is a ahada kitab so for example if you say naam or la that's like in particle of answer so but today we are going to learn that this la is used with a fa'il so there are two types of la which are used with the fa'il so one is called lan nafia lan nafia and the other is called lan nahia so both of these la nafia and lan nahia they are used with fa'il mudhara so they are fa'il mudhara so we're going to understand and know the difference between these two inshallah la nafia is negation where you negate a sentence so it is used with jumlat al fa'liya and you where you negate the sentence so what is la nahiya then la nahiya is to forbid or to stop from from doing an action so that's the difference between la nafiya so where you negate so no and la nahiya so let's give some examples so la nafiya so when used with fa'il mudhari' so we're saying no so then this la has no effect on the fa'il mudhari' which comes after it that means the fa'il will remain in its natural form which is marfu' so you won't see any change in the fa'il you're just negating the sentence for example if you say afhamud darsa i understood the lesson so if you want to say i did not, uh, i did not i'm not understanding the lesson say la afhamud darsa so la afham afham is fa'il mudhari' marfu'un bi dhamma so if you see dhamma so you know it's marfu there's no change that means he is just negating you think i'm not understanding the lesson so for example nadhabu is we are going nadhabu ila suq so if you want to negate we are not going to suq we just put a we just put la and what to say la nadhabu so nadhabu fa'il mudhari' marfu'un bi dhamma ila suq so for example tashrabu tashrabu shaya you are drinking tea so if you want to say you are not drinking tea so you say la tashrabu shaya you are not drinking the tea okay so what is la nahiya thus so la nahiya is also used in fa'il mudhari' so how do we differentiate which la is being used whether la nahiya or la nafiya so whenever this la nahiya comes so we know it has an impact on the fa'il because you are giving kind of a command so it becomes majzoom so that's how you know that this la is la an nahiya is nahi naha means to forbid so for example so you say tadhhabu you are going la tadhhabu you are not going but how do you want to say don't go so you say la tadhhab la tadhhab so tadhhab fa'lum majzum bi sukoon for example so if you see la nahiya so la taktub don't write bil qalam al ahmar so you giving kind of a command so this la will have a force of a fa'il amr because you giving a command that's why it turns into a uh, majzum but it will have alamatu mudhari' so it is fa'il mudhari' so we we know 
ta a na an ya ar it is alamatu mudhari so when you see la with alamatu mudhari and majzum so that means you are giving a command la nahiya you telling not so if you are just making a statement like la taktubu bil qalam bil qalam al ahmar you are not writing with red pen so you are just giving a, like a statement you are not writing but you want to say don't write so it's la taktub so la takhruj min al fasl don't go out of the class but if you're telling you're not going out so it has a lot of difference in how we say you're not going out and don't go out la takhruju min al fasl so whenever you see fa'il mudhari' bi dhamma so we know that la is la an nafiya and has no effect on the fa'il but if it is an effect that is la an nahiya so we say la ta'bud so here the knowledge which we just learned that whenever a fa'il majzum is followed by al so that is to assimilate the sounds we bring in the sound of kasra la ta'budish shaitan okay so we say la ta'budu la ta'budush shaitan means you are not worshiping shaitan la ta'budish means there's an amar there's a command don't worship shaitan so there's lot of difference in how we pronounce the sound and how we understand so it has lot of effect so hopefully when we are reading quran so we should be able to use this knowledge to read properly inshallah so let's do some more examples so we get more familiar with this concept so you are telling ya musa o musa anta maridun you are sick fala takhruj so this fa is just connecting it's an ataf so connecting to the previous concept so i say you are uh, ill therefore la takhruj don't go out see it's ending with the sukun min al bait from house wala tadhhab ila al madrasati and don't go to madrasa wala talab fi al shari and don't play in the street so la tajlis don't sit don't you sit see ta is alamat mudari anta so even this la nahiya so it like fell amar so you normally you give it for the anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna so there's a different way to give it in third person we're going to learn later on but this is a normal for this six situations la tajlis fi tariq iftahin nawafida see iftahin so why it is hin is actually ifta means anta you telling one person the windows wala tafta see wala taftahil baba and don't open the door so when you see a fail with kasra so we know it naturally it cannot have kasra it is only for pronunciation sake and we should understand what form it is in exactly la tadhak dahika yadhaku means he laughed he laughs la tadhak don't laugh fil fasli in the class la taakul don't eat fi shar on in the street and la takdhib don't lie la takdhib لا تحلق don't cut halaqa yahliqu tahliqu and la tahliq is don't cut don't cut means lihyatika your beard don't cut your beard la tasalni see so now we need to understand here saala yasalu the fa'il the fa'il can have a maf'ulun bihi so telling uh, don't ask ask whom don't ask me is noon is noon ubikaya ya mutakallim so you don't ask me la tasalni hada suala so hada suala is badal so don't ask me this question la tadrib don't you hit hit who zamila zamila ka is your mudaf ilahi don't hit your colleague so this is the new concept so hopefully you understand how we use la nahiya 
and how do we use learn nafia so inshallah we'll learn more about this in our next class so until then keep practicing we'll see you soon assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh